you know, I think we can go ahead and get started when you're ready. Thank you very much, Katie. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Linda Wellage and it's my distinct honor to serve as Dean of the University of Minnesota College of Pharmacy. I'm delighted to be here today to celebrate with all of you. I wanna thank the class representatives and the Office of Student Services who have worked hard to make this event possible in its virtual format. Before we get started, there is a one quick housekeeping note. Throughout today's event, we will be taking screenshot images for use in our college communications, including our social media channels. If you would rather not be a part of these images, please feel free to turn off your camera. While we continue to adapt to the effects of a global pandemic, or I will say a global long lasting pandemic and ponder what the new way forward looks like, the reason for today's celebration is unchanged from years past. Throughout life, no matter what else may be going on, it's always important to pause and celebrate our accomplishments. It's so great to have all of you here today. I know each and every one of you has accomplished a lot. At the College of Pharmacy, we aim to prepare the best pharmacists in the country. And as such, it's not an easy program. Your success in the classroom is a tribute to your commitment to excellence and your willingness to persevere. Many, if not all of you, have gen also generously given your time and skills to help support patients and communities in countless ways, thereby demonstrating your commitment to help others. Moreover, you've demonstrated your adaptability and resilience as we've adapted our learning environment in the midst of this pandemic. So why we will, may not formally call each of your names to be recognized today. I want to say you are all truly amazing and worthy of recognition. Your accomplishments are impressive and they are shaping you to be the best pharmacist in the nation. At this time, I'd like to invite our class of 2023 and class of 2024 faculty advisors to provide remarks as they have worked closely with students and class reps over the past year. Dr. Palumbi, will you please start off? Hello everyone and congratulations to both the class of 2023 and the class of 2024. I am both excited and honored to be sharing this moment with you and I'm in awe that it seems like just yesterday I met all of you in becoming a pharmacist. I'm so proud of the courage and resilience that you have demonstrated over the past year and I'm proud of your accomplishments despite the barriers you've encountered. Dr. Aldrich and I look forward to the years that come and working closely with the class of 2024 as your faculty advisors. Dr. Lee. Hello, everyone. I'd like to add my congratulations to all of you for your many accomplishments in the past year. I'm particularly impressed by how well you have adapted to all the changes you know, due to the pandemic and have remained active and engaged throughout this challenging year. I am so proud to be part of your class and you know, 2023 and but also congratulations to 2024. I really look forward to continue working with you all and wish you all the best in the coming year. Congratulations class of 2023. First, I wanna recognize the enthusiasm, commitment and leadership of your class representatives. And I'd like to echo what Dean Wellich said. Secondly, pause for a moment and reflect on the past two years and, and appreciate all your accomplishments. I look forward to continuing to serve you as your advisor. Enjoy your summer and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, class advisors. I would now like to invite Associate Dean for Students and Professional Affairs, Dr. Randy Seifert, and Interim Senior Associate Dean, 
Dr. Tim Stratton to present our student awards. Well, thank you, Dean Mullage, and my congratulations to both classes on a, on a great success. Dr. Stratton and I now have the pleasure of presenting our student awards. Attendees in the Zoom meeting, feel free to use your reactions buttons and chat and the chat to offer congratulations to our award winners. The uh, first award is the Dean's Research Award, and this is for a, a P1, P2, or a P3 student in recognition of outstanding achievement in research activities. And our award winner this year is Lucas Kosobuski. Lucas has worked with rural and tribal communities on research projects that serve those with substance use disorder and their families for over the last six years. He has taken on a leadership role as Dr. Palumbi's lead student researcher and has recruited and trained numerous PharmD students and undergrads in community engaged research and consensual qualitative uh, research methodology. He has a handful of publications and many other papers in the pipeline, in addition to working closely with the Boys Fort Nation on his own research. On his own research. Congratulations, Lucas. Well, job well done. Dr. Stratton. Looks like you're muted, Dr. Stratton. Thank you. There I am. Uh, again, the Deborah A. Casper Memorial Awards for a PD1 student who's contributed most to the class of uh, spirit decor in the course of everyday college studies. There are, uh, see, I have three awards here given is correct, uh, two for the Twin Cities and one for the Duluth student. And this year's award winners are Alicia Nordman, uh, Lena Jamaladeen, and Jake Woodruff. Now I'll share a few moment or uh, words with uh, about each of them here. Alicia has been fully engaged in uh, the Foundations of Pharmaceutical Care course. It's contributed uh, during the required and optional sessions that she always attended. She provided thoughtful insights and questions that created an environment for inclusion and vulnerability amongst the class. She's also helpful in reminding instructors how to maximize inclusion and accessibility to course content for all learners. So congratulations, Alicia. Lena was an engaged student leader also in uh, Foundations of Pharmaceutical Care and in the Becoming a Pharmacist course. She was not afraid to be the one to ask the questions that others might also be having and uh, to be vulnerable enough to share her screen on Zoom for us to walk through clinical or logistical questions during class or our optional Farm Care Connect sessions, which she uh, also always attended. She brought a spirit of community and connection to the class uh, across both campuses. So congratulations as, as well to Lena. Jake uh, has absolutely gone above and beyond his duties as a class rep. He works hard in his duties as a class rep to ensure his classmates are well informed. He's been such a rock for all of the students between organizing, including everyone, and making jokes to lighten the mood. He's a great leader and student and even a better person and friend. A lot of the students would be listless without his constant updates and aid during class and in the group chat. So thanks or congratulations again to uh, all three of our award winners. And back to you, Dr. Seifert. Uh, thank you, Dr. Stratton. And our next award is the John Y. Breckenridge Memorial Award. Three awards are given to PharmD2 students in recognition of outstanding scholastic achievement professional promise and leadership ability. And our three awardees this year are Jacob Noble, Kaylin Billmeyer, and Henrik Olson. And I'll say a little bit about each one of them. Jake is passionate about public health and about providing care for the medically underserved in Duluth. This past year, Jake combined his interests and skills and led both Duluth medicine and pharmacy students in updating the Hope Clinic patient care space at the Chum Homeless Shelter. Walls got repainted for the first time since the clinic opened in 2008, 
at clinics linoleum floor was even beyond salvage. So Jake took it upon himself to procure new flooring and led students in laying a new floor in the clinic. Jake also is involved in MPSA members in formulating COVID vaccine educational materials to be sent out with Meals on Wheels volunteers to reach out to isolated uh, senior citizens. Congratulations, Jake, on a job well done. Kaylin has shown a dedication to academic excellence throughout her time in the College of Pharmacy. Her research mentor over the past six months noted, I have watched her develop a clear vision of her professional goals and identity and identify ways to better prepare herself to achieve these goals. Her passion for learning has led her to apply and be accepted into both the ECP research emphasis track and the Masters of Public Health program. She hopes to use this additional education to form a career on the intersection of pharmacy, infectious disease, and public policy. At the Phillips Neighborhood Clinic, Kaylin has taken on the role of patient care lead coordinator, training and organizing first year volunteers to serve as patient advocates and clinical coordinator, leading all in-person operations during scheduled clinic visits. Starting in May, she will be a part of the administrative board of for the PNC and the clinic management chair. Congratulations, Kaylin. And Henrik is a true leader and displays his leadership by leading by example, holding himself accountable and always trying to bring out the best in others in the most respectful and encouraging way. He does this as VP, Vice President of College Board by always encouraging best practices, supporting other students and being intentional about all decisions that he is part of. He is respectful in all of his communications earning the trust of others, including his peers at the College of Pharma and College of Pharmacy staff and faculty. Henrik believes in bringing both campuses together and is driven by supporting others. He also shows his motivation to help others by his involvement in PNC and commitment to being the best pharmacist he can for his patients. Congratulations, Henrik. Dr. Stratton. Next up, we have the F.J. Woolen PharmD Student Award. And this is for the PD-1 students with the highest GPA after their fall semester. We have a number of winners this year. And so the winners are Trista Betts, Thomas Catlin, Cindy Chan, Seth Cross, Caitlin Nichols, Colin Trout, Nolan Wilson, Alyssa Wong and Minji Jong. Congratulations to all of you on just an excellent performance in that first semester. And back to you, Dr. Seifert. And uh, it's my privilege to, uh, out, uh, to announce the FJ Wooling PharmD2 Student Awards. This is the same similar award is presented to students who are in the highest GPA after their first three semesters in the PharmD program. This year, there is a five-way tie, and, the, uh, and these students are Lee Chung, Brandon Daly, Min Jung Kim, Christine Lee, and Rachel Moniz. Congratulations, the five of you, on, all, on, your, on your wonderful achievement. Back to you, Dr. Stratton. The next award is the PD-1 Student Integrity Award. And this is awarded to a first year student who best exemplifies and promotes a culture uh, of the attributes that are found in the respective class codes of ethics. And this year's PD-1 Award winner is Ellen Arnold. Ellen's a great classmate and friend in which she also embodies the attributes of our class code. She's a learner that's always looking and anticipating opportunities to expand her knowledge and does so with the utmost grace and integrity. And with you, uh, back to you, Dr. Seifert. And it is my uh, we'll, uh, next award will be for the PD Student Integrity Award. And this is similar to the P1 award, but it's given to the second year student that it best exemplifies and promotes a culture of, at, and of the attributes found in their respective class codes of ethics. And uh, our awardee is Eric Brandt. And Eric's nominees <clears throat> said, Eric exudes integrity in all of his words and actions and sets high standards, but achievable standards for his peers. 
It's his brand. And you will hear that from faculty, students, and staff alike. He is honest, trustworthy, open, thoughtful, humble, and kind and very supportive of his peers while expecting them to hold their oath and code of ethics. In his work as TA for Farm 6706 Foundations of Pharmaceutical Care, he paid close attention to consistency and fairness in his grading and provided advice to course instructors about how to link, how to think about and approach academic integrity issues. And congratulations, Eric. Dr. Stratton, uh, you have the next uh, awardee. I do. Thank you, uh, Dr. Seifert. And so the next award is U.S. Public Health Service Excellence in Public Health Pharmacy Award. This is an annual award and it recognizes pharmacy students who demonstrate a commitment to public health, who are active in developing innovative approaches to current public health challenges, and those who will help lead our nation to a healthier future. This year, we are excited to have two representatives from the U.S. Public Health Service join us to present this prestigious award. Lieutenant Commander Chris Frazier is a chief pharmacist at the Manistee Tribal Community Center of Pharmacy in Michigan, uh, who is, we're proud to call one of our uh, PharmD alumni from the University of Minnesota, and Commander Kaylee Fretland, who's the pharmacy director up at uh, Red Lake Indian Health Service Hospital. I'd like to welcome them both. Thank you, Dr. Stratton. Pharmacists of the United States Public Health Service established the Excellence of Public Health Pharmacy Award in 2003 to encourage student pharmacists to become active in public health. Pharmacists are trusted, accessible healthcare providers, and they have the capability and responsibility to produce a positive impact on our nation's health by educating members of their local community on the importance of living a healthy lifestyle. Pharmacy students have similar opportunities to make positive impacts on public health in their communities, and we hope they strive to continue and increase those positive impacts as pharmacists after graduation. Pharmacists and pharmacy students alike are pivotal in advancing public health. This year, we are recognizing 90 pharmacy students from across the country for their innovative and impactful efforts to address current public health challenges. Of those students, 10 were identified as top award recipients. These 10 students created or led projects that positively impacted underserved communities in their local communities and beyond. I'm pleased to be here to recognize one of the top recipients of this award today. This student is recognized for utilizing skills and passion for research informed practice to improve care for rural and Native American individuals. There is no doubt this individual has made an impact in reducing opioid related disparities, improving community health, and mitigating impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic through service, practice, and research. This student deeply understands the intersection between social determinants of health and community health for rural and tribal communities and graciously shares that knowledge with others, including the importance of tribal sovereignty in community-based research. This positive impact across local communities, the state and the nation is commendable and worthy of recognition. Based on these accomplishments, we are pleased to recognize on behalf of our chief pharmacist, Admiral Ty Bingham, this year's top award recipient of the United States Public Health Service Excellent, Excellence in Public Health Pharmacy Award from the University of Minnesota College of Pharmacy is Lucas Kozabuski. Uh, thank you, Dr. Doctors Fretland and Frazier. Um, this concludes our student awards and congratulations again to all of our student award winners. Now each semester, our students vote to select the faculty guest lecture, faculty guest lectures and teaching assistants that foster a positive learning environment and supportive teaching style. 
I'll hand it over to the class reps who will be announcing the winners. Class reps. Hello everyone, my name is Jake and I am one of the class representatives for the class of 2024 and I am going to present the guest lecture of the year award. For our class, we selected Dr. Kelly Sioris. She gave a phenomenal lecture on toxicology in our pharmacology class and we just wanted to thank her for everything that she contributed to our class. So congratulations, Dr. Sioris. And then our TA of the semester was Tanner Schumacher. So thank you, Tanner, for all your help in drug delivery and medicinal chemistry this semester. And uh, for professor of the semester, we would like to congratulate Dr. Suri, Suri uh, for uh, teaching us in drug delivery too. Everyone had good things to say about you and how you taught the class. So congratulations, Dr. Suri. And for the professor of the year, um, I'd like to congratulate Dr. Jason Barron for teaching. Um, he taught in BAP first semester and then APC second semester. He just wanted to know, let everyone know that he's humbled and honored to spend the entire year with everyone. Um, so congratulations, Dr. Barron. And I will send it off to Shane to present the class of 2023 awards. I would just like to preface the class of 2023 awards with we are we are grateful and we are honored for all of our professors and everything that they do for us. Um, we, as the class of 2023, this was a really, really hard vote for us. We had plenty of votes for each and every professor. So know that your, your work doesn't go unnoticed by the students. Um, but without further ado, uh, we're gonna start it off with the professor of the semester and year awards. Um, so our professor of the semester this year, um, we do one for each campus. So we have Dr. Schweiss and Dr. Westberg were our two professors of the semester this year. So we wanna thank them for all that they do. Moving on to the Professor of the Year Award. So this encompasses both last semester and this semester. And we would like to thoroughly thank um, Dr. Van Hoosier and Dr. Shulo Fulner for their continued support for our class. We also would like to thank our teaching assistant staff as well. We know that um, it's not always an easy job, especially um, with the working student to student here. Um, so with that, um, this one is a lot easier for us because our TAs of the semester also happen to be the TAs of the year. So we'd like to thank Seth Johnson and Boguan Sun for all of the hard work and dedication that they've been putting in throughout the semester here. Um, and again, teaching assistant of the semester and year, both awesome, awesome TAs. And with that, I'll go ahead and turn it over to our incoming class representative, Adam Fan. Hello, everyone. I'm here to present the uh, guest lecture of, of the semester and year. Uh, both, the tw uh, both the Twin Cities and Duluth campus have chosen uh, for this semester, Dr. Schomer for his lecture in endocrine. Uh, thank you so much for all that you did during that lecture. Uh, and then for the year, uh, both uh, professors are from the cardio class, Dr. Shola Fulner and Dr. Orly Vardeni. Yep, thank you so much for all you guys that you did in cardio. We really appreciate it. Our class really does. So with that, as a final congratulation from the class of 2023 and class of 2024, again, we appreciate all of the professors, um, all the teaching assistants and all of the guest lectures that we've had and how we continue to support our education. Um, we had the unique opportunity of being able to ask Dr. Van Hoosier to say a couple of words, um, words of motivation, just kind of to keep us going here to finish through the end of the semester. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Van Hoosier. Thank you, Shane. You know, Shane emailed me and he said I could speak about anything I see fit, but I didn't think this the appropriate platform to talk about Star Wars, <laughs> but we can go into that later. I want to start with saying thank you to the class of 2023 for being recognized. Um, it's, it's an honor to be re recognized by the students. And they asked if I could talk and I said, by golly, I can talk. I can even pontificate. And I, I wanted to take a moment to reflect upon this last year of COVID. And it's often the big things that come to mind the quickest. But I, I want to talk for just a minute that maybe sometimes it's the smaller and potentially less noticeable moments that have the biggest impact. Drew Dudley in his talk 
called Everyday Leadership describes a story where somebody approached him at his college graduation and mentioned a conversation, a brief conversation that was four years earlier. He had no recollection of this, but it had a profound impact on that individual. It decided their major, their career, the person that they eventually married, all because of this quick moment. He questions that perhaps some of the most powerful and impactful things that we can do as people, specifically as leaders, are things we may not even remember. And, and I agree, as often we do not know the positive impact that our small actions might have on others. When I was a student in this very program and involved with MPSA, we invited a the national representative or a national representative um, to come and speak uh, to us as students. And one of his quotes from his white coat ceremony that has stuck with me is, you, you've entered a profession in which you don't have to worry about making a living. So worry about making a difference. Worry about making a difference. I would urge you to consider what difference you're going to make as Drew pointed out, some of those small things you might not even know about might have profound impact on others. And the second years, you guys know I'm a fan of Kid President's pep talk video. I've probably showed it to you twice by now. And he said, every day we can do better for each other. So how are you gonna make the world awesome? And what's gonna be your space jam? You know second year is hard. We've talked about that. You've had your head down, you're focused. I want you to come up for air for a moment. Think of each day as an opportunity, a chance to make a difference, a chance to make somebody smile, a chance to change things for the better. So what are you gonna to do today? Thank you very much for this award and for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Van Hooser, for those motivating and inspiring remarks. And I wanna thank every one of you for attending this event. Every year, we look forward to the opportunity to celebrate our class award recipients and the many accomplishments of our students. Even though our celebrations continue in an online format for now, we are grateful for the opportunity to come together and acknowledge the hard work the incredible achievements and the new beginnings for each of you as you move forward. Before we conclude, I would like to thank the faculty, class advisors, and your class representatives. Students, take care this summer, and I look forward to seeing you back and on campus um, in the near future. Thanks so much. Take care.